Hey guys, we are talking about listing and ranking. This is unit five, um, which is talking about our family. So we are going to use our ranking for that, talking about our families. Um, just to start off, remember the difference between listing and ranking is that a list doesn't have any specific order. It doesn't matter. We're just listing off things we need at the grocery store or our hobbies or favorite things, whatever. Um, whatever it is you're listing, the order does not matter. However, ranking, it does matter. Okay. A rank, if something's being ranked, it means it matters, the order. Um, so that's what we're going to start with is just ranking our family members. And I'm not talking about favorites, but I'm talking about by age. Okay. So how we do that is we're going to use our non-dominant hand. So remember that's the hand you don't write with, and it's going to show our list here. Okay. That leaves our dominant hand free for signing. So remember we've talked about signs that move. It's going to be the dominant hand that does most of the moving. So in this case, our non-dominant hand is just holding our list and our dominant, our dominant hand is free to sign. Okay. Um, our list depends on how many we need. So if we're talking about our siblings, um, the kids in your family, okay, if you have five, you're going to stick with this handshake. If you have um, four, okay, we don't take one away. We actually sign it like we signed the number four. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. So that means if we're listing four, we have four siblings, we're making the four hand shape. Same with three, we're going to put that thumb back up and we're going to list it this way. Two, and if you just have one, you can just say you have one sibling, I guess. Okay, if you have more than five, we're going to go over that in a second. Um, so we are always going to start at the top. Okay, we don't work our way from the bottom up. We always start at the top and work our way down. Um, and with that being said, that means we're also going to start with the oldest first and work our way down to the youngest. Okay, um, so if I have five or more siblings, I'm going to keep this hand shape. My um, dominant hand is going to do the pointing. So I'm going to start with this one. Um, this is my brother. His name is Joey. Okay, whatever. Um, and I'm going to keep that list up there. So okay, whatever we can talk about them. Obviously you can use that non-dominant hand for signs like name, married, whatever's needed. Um, but keep it there. Don't keep dropping it and bringing it back up. Okay. Um, after we talk about that one, we're going to go to the next one. Okay. If one of these is yourself, Rank yourself in the correct order. So for my family, I'm the second. Okay, so this would be. Okay, we talk about myself. Then I'd go to the next sibling. Okay, um, if you have more than five, there's a couple ways you can do it. How we could do that is we can either say six in your left hand, or sorry, your non-dominant hand. Sign with your right hand, seventh sign. Um, I prefer, however, to keep this list here, reference, and then clarify with my dominant hand. Sixth is blah, blah, blah. Seventh, whatever. Eighth, okay. And kind of just reference back to that list with your number and then sign with your dominant hand. Okay. When you're talking about your siblings, if you want to talk about something that two of you love to do, there's that's called a dual pronoun. And how we sign that is we can reference which siblings that is. And then we do our two hand shape and we sh show that it's like, if there's a person here and a person here, we're referencing those two. Okay. Um, if they're next to each other, you could just show that the two of them, you know, love skiing, whatever. Um, but you should use that dual pronoun and show that it's the two of them. If you are one of those people, then you reference it to your, towards yourself and the other person. So the two of us. Okay. Okay. Okay, the last thing we're going to review is age. We have talked about this a little bit, but because we're talking about our families, usually when we are listing our siblings, we talk about how old they are. Um, so we're going to review that. The sign for old or age, okay, is this. So remember, it's like an old person beard, okay? Imagine um, Dumbledore and his long white beard, okay? So this is, if you're just saying the person is old, 
okay that person is old if I'm talking about the age of someone I'm just gonna quickly reference the sign for age and then show how old they are eight six 15 whatever 50 um, because of laziness and just comfort um, that has often turned into just this instead of the full sign for age so 15 16 and that's okay that's not wrong if you see someone just point to their chin rather than signing the whole word or sign for the word older age that's okay too okay i think that's it